Authenticity is clearly a very important part of this movie, and I saw that you had addiction consultants to help you make your portrayal more accurate. Is that right? Oh, yes, definitely. Without them, I would not have made it. Um, they were a huge part of developing the character, like just teaching me basically all the ropes of, of that, that, what, um, that lifestyle. Like it was very foreign to me, so they gave me a lot of knowledge in preparing for the role. Can you pick out like one specific thing that sort of stuck with you? Oh goodness, I, my, it was so much. Like I, I almost want to say in every way, just learning of their story and learning how they were introduced to drugs and, and in their path and their journey on it, how they broke away from it, how they lost their families in it, and just starting to just be attached to their story and then making it real for myself. You know, it is this dark movie at times. Is that something you took home with you at night or were you able to sort of leave it on set? Well, I did my best to leave it on set. <laughs> Although I did go home in character with the tattoos because that was more of an overnight process. Um, so in a way, I was still very much in the character. Um, but I did want to leave everything on the set because I had to go home to my child, you know, and, and he, it would confuse him a lot. So I did try to leave it. Now this is a non-musical project. Are you trying to do more non-musical stuff? Definitely. Yeah, I don't like to be boxed in and, and told, oh, you can only do musicals or she only does musicals. No. Um, so this, I saw, was an outlet to, a platform to be able to display other things, you know, and say, no, I'm not just a musical actress. Dare I ask, on the musical side of things, do you still, uh, are you still on target to have a new album? I am year? working on, um, I'm currently working on my third album right now. My single is out on iTunes, it's called I Can't Describe. I'm in, and I'm in the studio as we speak, we're finishing up on my third album. What, what should people look for to be different this time out on the third I one? I think this one is completely different in every way from my other two albums. Um, and it's definitely by far more of me involved as far as writing, even help producing, and, and just, just overall far more hands-on this time around. And it's more about just uplifting people and feeling good, you know, more so than just singing. It's more of a feeling. Now you just did a, a funnier die sketch, a, a politically bent funnier die sketch. How important is it, do you feel, to sort of use your voice uh, for things like that, where, where you have a strong sense of right and wrong sort of in our society? Well, I don't know. I didn't really think o o about that in particular. It's just, um, just to raise awareness about health care and, and then finding a fun way to do it. And again, everybody wants to be uh, Olivia Pope. At least I do. So that's what I, I took the opportunity to be Olivia Pope. <laughs>